Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I agree with um, much that has been said this morning about the historic underinvestment in communities of color and low income areas across the United States, both urban and rural. Uh, step one is recognizing transportation inequities. Step two is investing in infrastructure that helps bring communities together rather than keeping them apart. So it is important that we're engaging on that first step today. And I thank the chairman for calling this hearing. I hope the committee's service transportation bill does reflect today's discussions. Uh, Director Omishakin, I want to discuss another area of historic underinvestment, accessibility for uh, individuals with disabilities. As you know, much of our transportation infrastructure built before the enactment of the Americans with Disability with Disabilities Act in 1990 is still in operation and still inaccessible to individuals with physical, sensory, intellectual, and developmental disabilities. Do you agree with me that overcoming accessibility and equities requires targeted investment and commitment by transportation officials to address these challenges sooner than later? Director Mashakin. Oh yes, here we go. I was on. I was on double <laughs> mute here. Sorry about that, Senator. Uh, S S Senator Duckworth, thank you for the question and thank you for uh, your leadership and championing uh, issues like this uh, since you've been in office. As you mentioned, we're celebrating uh, just over 30 years uh, of the passing of the the, the ADA. Uh, and one of the main implementers of the ADA has been both city and state uh, departments of transportation. Uh, it, there's no doubt uh, that in California, we are committed to this and we believe that targeted investment uh, should continue. Our governor, Governor Newsom, uh, has said his umbrella uh, for his leadership for the state as a California for all, uh, meaning all all people, regardless of ethnicity, regard, regardless of ability, uh, regardless of income. Uh, and so across uh, different spectrums uh, in the work that we do in state government in California, we absolutely believe that uh, this continues to need to be a focus. ADA needs to be a focus and targeted investment is, is a big part of how we will uh, continue to see the difference and change that we wanna see. Thank you. Does anybody on the panel disagree with me that addressing infrastructure accessibility should be a priority? Okay, thank you. Next week, I plan to introduce my All Station Accessibility Program Act to help target accessibility opportunities across legacy transit and commuter rail systems. I'll give you an example. In Chicago, uh, our L um, and, and our CTA is very proud that they plan on being completely uh, wheelchair accessible in 20 years and they when they told me this um, and they were very proud and i applaud their efforts what i said to them was so a half century 50 years a half century after the ada is when persons with disabilities will finally have full access and that simply is not enough which is why i uh, wrote the all stations accessibility program act in areas across the nation significant transportation accessibility challenges remain um, this is unacceptable and we must do more to address this problem. Uh, Director Omar Shakin, departments of transportation often view project planning, financing and implementation in modal silos that can inhibit delivery and limit connectivity across the system. Would you agree with me that Congress should be looking at ways to remove outdated modal barriers in order to expedite project delivery and to save taxpayer dollars? Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator Duckworth. Uh, you know, I, I believe so. I, I think uh, truly the way that we're going to create a, a robust transportation system and enhance where we are today is to absolutely connect all the modes uh, as much as we possibly can. Uh, the current leadership at USDOT, I believe, um, has made statements around this. Uh, Secretary Buttigieg, I, I believe, has made comments around being a, a one DOT, essentially meaning that all the different branches, whether it be FTA, FHWA, FRA, all need to be thinking about how to how to work together to achieve the goals for um, a, a great transportation system. And uh, we're definitely doing that in California. As I lead this department, this is something that we talk about every single day is how we can become more multimodal. Um, and more connected. And, and I think the same thing applies uh, for the rest of us 
uh, in the nation uh, as well. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you say that. Next week, I am reintroducing my bipartisan TIFIA for Airports Act with Senator Cornyn. So it is bipartisan to extend the underused TIFIA loan program to major airport projects uh, like those at O'Hare, LAX, Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, thank you all for being on uh, the panel today. I yield back while I'm out of time. Uh, thank you, Senator. Thank you, Dr. Chairman. Uh, Senator Loomis. 